The Power of Story is my first life work. And I realized that in calling people together to tell each other their stories, there needed to be a form that really honored what was about to happen. And a lot of storytelling occurs spontaneously between people all the time, but it's, it's fluid and it's drive-by conversation. You know, people are grabbing a cup of coffee together at a coffee machine and they begin a story, but the other person isn't really listening or moves on, or there's not a sense of containment in which you ask me a question that elicits a story or one rises up that I just want to tell you because I know you, then I want you to stop and listen. And I think the circle work first began to grow in me as a way to help people sit down, stop, and listen to each other. Because once your story is really heard, then you can let go of it, you can change it, you can heal from it, you can change your mind and stop having an opinion about something, or someone gives you some feedback and you go, oh, Maybe I wasn't a victim in that moment. Maybe I was a victor. Mm 